welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us but if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so so that we can bring you the latest news as they happen and together we can support our great leader Mazin Namdekano, IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality and put the Fulani Janjawi to shame. He said, Justice Binta Yanko, the notorious pliable puppet of Buhari and the Fulani Nigerian government, cries out that she has no powers to stop the Fulani Nigerian government. Serial lawlessness against Mazen Amdekano or recalls herself from Mazen Amdekano's trials because the Fulani Nigerian government will eliminate her, her husband and children. And she has no power against the criminal DSS. And that is why the lawlessness is happening. Because she is a puppet. And she has refused to recall herself from the trials. My brothers and my sisters. But she will pay dearly for it. She will pay. You know the criminal Fulani Justice Binta Yanko said. That she has been paid heavily. By Buhari's government. To keep adjoining Mazin and the Kano's trial to prevent any trial happening in a court. You know, because they don't want Mazin and the Kano to clear his name. They don't want him. Because the Fulani Nigerian government has no case or evidence against Mazin and the Kano since he did not violate the Nigerian constitution despite being fraudulent or any international law. The Fulani Nigerian government are also afraid that if they allow Mazin Amdekano's trial to commence, Buhari and Kenyatta, the Kenyan president, will have to produce how a document that shows how they kidnapped and tortured Mazen Amdekano in Nairobi, Kenya. And with such evidence, they won't escape the International Criminal Court arrest. They won't. So the best bet, according to Binta Yanko and the Fulani Nigerian government, is to keep adjoining the case until Buhari leaves office. The impostor Buhari leaves office and runs back to Niger Republic in Maradi to enjoy his hundreds of millions of dollars that will be paid out for a job well done by him imposing as Buhari and pretending to be Buhari and allowing the full and Nigerian presidency cabal to rule Nigeria through an impostor. Their cup is full. They will pay for it. You know, because of the lawlessness going on in Nigeria, because of the full and ninja weed, the criminal DSS denies Mazin Namdekanu's lawyers and his family access to Mazin Namdekanu. Barrister Aloy Ejimako. Special counsel for Mazin and the Colonel said and kicked against the refusal of the criminal DSS operatives to grant him access to Mazin and the Colonel. Barrister G. Marco said the criminal DSS bar lawyers to the detained Maz IPOB leader from meeting Mazen Namdekano on Thursday and today, Monday, they bought them. Barista Jimako 
noted that the act by the criminal DSS was in contravention of the order of Justice Beta Yanko of the Federal High Court in Abuja. You know, in summary, the Federal High Court Abuja, where Justice Beta Yanko presides over, is just a kangaroo court. It's a kangaroo court. Because he's a puppet to Buhare and Malami. They control her. They tell her what to do. So she always looks for excuses to adjoin the case. And each time they bring Mazin and Nikano to her court, the criminal DSS and the Fulani Nigerian government spends over 500 million naira and they share it among themselves. And they share to Justice Bintayanko for helping them adjoin the case. You know, Barrister Ejimako said that the lawyers to Mazin and the Colonel were not allowed visitation. Even his brother went there, they refused to allow him in. Because according to the criminal DSS, they said the special squad, that is the terrorist squad of the criminal DSS, in charge of visitations, went on outside assignments. The criminal DSS asked the lawyers to come back on Monday, including his brother. On Monday, the lawyers and his brother were at the criminal DSS facility. And they were told the same thing. This is the height of lawlessness. In a nation, the height of lawlessness. How can the court tell them to allow Mazen and the Kano to be visited by his family twice a week on Thursdays and Mondays. And yet, the criminal DSS disobeyed the court order. They disobeyed. They don't follow rule of law. Whereas, the criminal Fulani police officer is walking about freely walking about freely, doing whatever he likes. Yet, the criminal DSS will not allow Mazin and the Colonel's lawyer and his family to visit him. They won't. You know, they, they just do whatever they like in that zoo called Nigeria. Since the Fulani Janjaweed took over power in 2015, no wonder the former president, a Fulani slave, slave boy, Olushe Gwamba Senjo, said they need more of Mazin and the Kano in Nigeria to tell the Fulani Nigerian government the truth. But everyone is afraid. Sunday, Boho, who stood up in the southwest region, saw that they betrayed him and he tried to leave because his people were not supporting him. So he left and the Fulani Nigerian government arrested him in Benin Republic and kept him perpetually in prison and no one is talking. No one is talking. Everyone is putting a blind eye on this Fulani lawlessness and the atrocities in Nigeria. Nobody is talking. And that is why the Fulani Nigerian government are being emboldened to keep committing more atrocities and lawlessness in the zoo called Nigeria. Until Nigerians... The unity beggars, the Fulefus and traitors come together 
and tell themselves the truth. Nigeria will never be free. That is, if Nigeria still exists after 2023, if it still exists. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye-bye for now.